So in this video, we will discuss about 9.3 part A, the derivative of a trigonometric functions. Basically, altogether, there are six different trigo functions that you can differentiate. So we will go through one by one. The first function would be y equal to sine x and the derivative of it would be cosine of x. Second one, we have cosine of x and the derivative of it would be negative sine of x. Next one, our third function is tangent of x and the derivative of it would be secant squared of x. Our next function would be cosecant of x and the derivative of it would be negative cosecant of x cotangent of x. Proceed with the next one, we have a secant of x and the derivative of it would be secant x tangent x and our last function cotangent of x and the derivative of it would be negative cosecant squared of x. So for our trigger function, sometimes we will encounter where we have a higher or degree of our trigger function. Let's say if we have sine cube or sine to the power of 10. So if we encounter this case, we will have to use power rule. And we will discuss this more through our exercise. Proceed with example 12, we have to find the derivative for each of the following function. Part A, we have to find the derivative of y equal to 2 cosine of x minus half sine of x. So our dy dx in this case would be equal to, 2 is basically a constant so you just have to rewrite it back. Now we have to differentiate cos of x and uh, derivative of this would be equal to negative sine of x minus half. Once again, it's just a constant. You just have to rewrite it back. And derivative of sine x in this case would be cosine of x. So our final answer here would be negative 2 sine of x minus half cosine of x. Moving on part B, we have y equal to tangent of x minus 2 cos x plus 3x cubed. We have three main terms here. You just have to differentiate one by one. So in this case, our dy over dx would be equal to derivative of tangent x would be equal to secant squared of x minus 2. Derivative of cosine x would be negative of sine x and derivative of 3x cubed would be 9x squared. So here our final answer would be secant squared of x plus 2 sine of x plus 9x squared. Proceed with part C. We have y equal to sine x minus 4 secant of x minus 8. So our dy dx in this case would be first function sine of x. Derivative of it would be cosine of x minus with 4. Next one we have secant of x. So the derivative of this would be secant of x tangent of x. Minus 8, in this case, the derivative of it will be 0 and that will be your final answer. Part D, we have 2 over 3 cotangent of x minus third of x. Remember, third of x is just basically x to the power of half. So, dy dx in this case will be 2 over 3. Next, you have to find derivative of cotangent x, which in this case would be negative cosecant squared of x minus with x to the power of half. You just have to use the basic rule, so bring power to the front, half, x, all power would be minus 1. So now, our final answer would be negative 2 over 3 cosecant squared of x minus 1 over 2 third x. Proceed with example 13. We have to find the derivative for each of the following. Part A, we have y equal to 2 
cosine to the power of 3 of 2x squared plus 1. So for this function, actually we have the power for our trigo function. This can be rewrite as 2 times with cos of 2x squared plus 1. The whole thing is cubed. In order to differentiate this, we have to use the power rule. So here our dy dx will be equal to 2 times with 3. Everything inside the square bracket, you just have to copy it back. So we will get cosine of 2x squared plus 1. Next, all power will be minus 1, so 3 minus 1. That's the first stage. Now, we have to differentiate our trigo function. So, derivative of cosine in this case will be negative of sine. And everything inside the circle bracket, you just have to copy it back. So, we will have 2x squared plus 1. And last step, everything... Uh, every equation in our square bracket also must be differentiated. So, in this case, derivative of it will be 4x. So, basically, we have three stages. First, you differentiate the power of our trigo function. Second part, you differentiate our trigo function itself. And third part, you have to differentiate the function of our trigo function. So, here our final answer would be 24x. Sorry, we have a negative sign here. So, negative 24x. Um, and then times with cos of 2x squared plus 1. The whole thing would be squared. Times with sine of 2x squared plus 1. And that's going to be our final answer. Moving on for part B. Part B, we have y equal to 2 times with cosine of 2x squared plus 1, the whole thing to the power of 3. So, different case for this question because we only have the power for our function itself and not our trigo function. So our dy dx in this case would be first for constant 2 you just have to copy it back. Now for our trigo function cosine derivative of this would be negative sine. Everything inside the square bracket you just have to copy it back. 2x squared plus 1 cube. So we settle to find we settle to differentiate our trigo function. Next, we have to differentiate our function inside the square bracket. Since we have everything to the power of 3, for this question we have to follow the power rule. So bring your power to the front 3. Copy everything inside the circle bracket. Sorry, the round bracket actually. All power minus 1 to 2. Now, don't forget to differentiate everything inside the round bracket. So, you're going to get 4x here. So, for this question, our final answer would be negative 2 times 3 times 4. So, 24x times with sine of 2x squared plus 1 cube times with 2x squared plus 1 squared. And that's going to be our final answer. We do this once again with a different function. So for next one, we have cosecant cube of set x minus 9. So basically for question C, we have a power for our trigo function. So I rewrite this as cosecant x minus 9 to the power of half and everything is to the power of 3. So in order to differentiate this, we have to use the power rule. So first step, differentiate our power rule. So bring your power to the front. Everything inside your bracket, you just have to copy it 
back. So we have cosecant of x minus 9 to the power of half. Our old power minus 1, that's how you get 2. Now, we have to differentiate what's inside the square bracket. So first, you only have to differentiate your trigo function, which in this case, derivative of cosecant would be negative cosecant. For our function, you just have to rewrite it back. So in this case, we will have x minus 9 to the power of half. I make a mistake here. So actually here would be half. And then cotangent of x minus 9 to the power of half. So now we settle with our trigo function. And last step, don't forget to differentiate your function inside the round bracket. So for that part, our derivative would be half times with x minus 9 to the power of half minus 1 would be negative half. So here, our final answer will be 3 times with, we have a negative sign here, so negative cosecant cube of third of x minus 9 times with cotangent of third of x minus 9 divided by 2 times with third of x minus 9. And that is our final answer. Sorry, we have a power to here to okay proceed with question d we have cosecant of set x minus 9 cubed so if i rewrite back this we will have cosecant of x minus 9 to the power of 3 over 2 we don't have any power for our trigo function. So first step, you just have to differentiate our trigo function. Derivative of cosecant will be negative cosecant. For our function, you just have to copy back. So x minus 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Cotangent of x minus 9 to the power of 3 over 2. So that's the first part. We settle with our trigger function. Now we have to differentiate our function what's inside the square bracket. So following our power rule, so we will have 3 over 2 x minus 9 to the power of 1 over 2. And if we differentiate once again what's inside the bracket here, we will get 1. So our final answer here would be 3 over 2 times, sorry, we have a negative in front, negative 3 over 2 times with third of x minus 9 times with cosecant of x minus 9 to the power of 2, to the power of 3 over 2 times with cotangent of x minus 9 also to the power of 3 over 2. And that's going to be our final answer. Music